What is up everybody and welcome back to some hot Star Wars Hunters action. And today guys we're going to be doing something special as today we're going to be doing the Sprocket event. That's right we have unlocked this healer character and we need to take a look at him but he also has a special event going on. So that means that we need to play him to win. No I'm just kidding we don't actually have to play him to win the event but we're going to play him to win the event because that's the only way that we know how to do it. Now we're going to give you our honest review on Sprocket what we think of him at our first look and well, obviously like everything else once he's maxed out. We'll take another look at him. But I hope you guys are ready for this video. If you guys didn't, yesterday I released the top five plays from the first full week of Star Wars Hunters. So be sure to go check that out. Link will pop up in the top right. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy this sprocket montage video. So, this is my look at Sprocket. Now, in this particular match here, guys, it is a control match. I think you're getting pretty much familiar with these maps by now. This is the Ewok Village. Now, as I stated, there is an event going on for Sprocket. Um, so, in order to complete the event, you have to complete a bunch of tasks, which can be found in your event tab, um, along with all your other missions and everything like that. Completing the event earns you X amount of levels and XP for the character that is the event character in this case this gentleman right here now sprocket is a very interesting character um he seems to be like a tech genius um he honestly doesn't do any fighting himself he lets his droids that he probably built do it if you know anything about the star wars universe eh, people are notorious for building these uh, um, awesome droids now one of the tips i will give you guys for this is he needs to be manual fire like a couple of the other ranged characters he does not do good damage at all this card needs to be played around your tank, and a Slayer needs to be with you as well. J3D1 and your Wookiee, or J3D1 and your Droid Dakar, I don't remember his name yet, are the ones you really want to play around with this card. You live and you die by the ability to stay away from fights. Now, he does have an interesting ability where he can heal with this drone, he also has a turret that he can place up that actually does pretty good damage for a short amount of time. Um, just something to kind of keep in the back of your head. And he also has another ability that sends a little droid to a target. That target takes increased damage while affected by that droid. Now, his heals do go pretty quickly as far as the heals go for these characters that I've found so far. Um, but realistically, he struggles in the fact that he's a rather large hitbox with no true escape mechanism. His mechanism is to try and outheal the damage, and that's why his heals are geared the way that they are. Now, his ultimate ability is like a big a scan of everything that heals everything in the effective range. It is a very interesting ability to have in your back pocket should you end up needing it, because you never know. Back pocket and sprocket. Wow, why did I just think of that? I don't know. I'm going to leave that in the video. <laughs> Oh. But overall, guys, this character has phenomenal detail um, on the pat on the part of the devs here. Great job. Little things like the fact that he has to touch his tablet to coordinate attacks. The tablet changes colors depending on what you're doing. And his droids each fire separately, originating in separate positions. They are not firing from the same point. That is super unique and a very great job by the devs for attaining that detail. Things like that are what make me happy about characters in this game. These little tiny things that make all the difference in the world long term for your players and everything like this. Overall guys, I love the design of Sprocket. I'm not a very good healer player yet. I will be, don't you worry. Right now I've been focusing on Reeve. I really like Reeve and I'm getting pretty darn good with her. So maybe you'll see another Reeve video later this week. I'm kind of addicted, just saying. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're gonna finish out this match for you guys real quick. I'll play a little music for you in the background um, and then I'll be right back whenever we start our next match. See you in a minute. Got a taste and a waste, bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card never change, play the game. Now we say, I need a break. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need. All right, so overall, what are my thoughts on Reef? We're going to sum this character up for you. He has a very good heal pool whenever the whenever your teammates are inside of your range of heals. 
Um, realistically, this card is going to be mostly used for games where your teams are condensed and able to actually manufacture those heals. The fact is, is that whenever this card stretches too much, he dies like any other card in the game. And the truth is he has no real way to escape or defend himself. So, what does this mean for you being a Sprocket player? It means you have to stay with the team. And you have to, have to, have to have your drones up at all times. Whether it's the turret or the heal drone, both need to be up at all times. Otherwise, you will struggle with being effective in this game because he just really can't do it on his own. And that's okay. I do love the attention to detail they gave this character. I love the events and how quick it helps you with leveling up the cards. And I think that overall you will have a lot of fun playing Sprocket. But I would like to know your guys' thoughts on Sprocket down below in the comments as well. Um, I think, honestly, I'm going to, once I do a video on all the characters, I'm probably going to do a tier list for all the characters as well. I think that that would be a good step um, to kind of show you guys what I'm feeling so far in the game. And like I said, as I level them up um, and max them out, I'll show you the different combinations because every character has their own combinations and powers uh, that make them unique. And that's something I really love. Um, overall, though, guys, Sprocket, fun card. I'm not sure how effective he's actually going to be unless your team is really well coordinated. So hopefully in-game communication is coming shortly for this game. If that happens, this could be huge for the players of Star Wars Hunters. This game has so much potential, guys. But anyways, like always, I'm going to play some music. I'm going to head out. But there'll be a couple videos to roll along at the end. Go check them out for me if you could. It really does help me out. Stay safe, everybody. And I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down. I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, know what I'm about. Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, bitch, I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna fuck with me, a slow burn like a deceit. Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe. Just tell me that. Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my fucking mouth, yeah I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots That's how you get big box, you get yachts You swing lots and pop off a big shot I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things, impatient Who's at the top, think they need replacement Who's at the top?